two big spoons of mazola oil. Is that right? Yeah. You're never going to sell one of these. <laughs> Vegetable oil. Yeah, and it maize mm -hmm. oil. Corn oil. Okay. Corn oil. Now the flour. First you make a roux, David and Chris. And it is kind of measure. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm going to do eight of these. And you kind of, you can tell when your flour and your oil is about right. Six. <laughs> and which kind of flour is that? It's just uh, all purpose. All purpose. All purpose. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, uh, German cooks say steer, but I say stir. <laughs> stir it up. <laughs> if you're not careful, you know, it will get too, it'll be too oily. Okay. And uh, so you have to kind of make sure you do have enough flour. So if you accidentally put too much oil in there, you can put you a little more flour. Just keep in. Yeah, just keep right. the okay. flour. You might have to change your pot. And you, but okay. the important thing is to watch so it doesn't get too dark. Yeah. Okay. If it does, then it's bitter. Okay. Yeah, we've eaten at a restaurant around where we live. And that's what it, Not their too gumbo good. tastes bitter to me. Oh, really? And they've got, it's, it's very dark. dark. Right. Very, very right. dark. And yeah. always remember, don't put your onions in until you get the flour as brown as you want it because the browning stops. And I didn't know that. I watched Larry's mother make this <clears throat> almost every time when I'd go down there, but I never paid you know, too much attention as to when she put the onions in. And my friend Myrna told me one day we were talking, and I told her that I could never get my flour brown. And she said, when do you put your onions in? She said, you're putting them in too soon, so okay. after that. So be sure you get this part done first. Yeah, this is what the do. they call it. First you make a roux. And I'm going to mess in the kitchen. Let's see. Did I put it up here? To get some more corn oil, you no, can. but you know what I want you to do, Larry? What? Get those shrimp out and wash them. Oh. Just wash them. They're in the refrigerator part. They're in the, where we keep the meat. Yeah. And also, uh, that little yellow thing there is for... Both bags of shrimp? Yes. Yep. And I would suggest, you know, when you uh, start, to start with a pot this size because it's easier to, to work with and stir. If you get one uh, that's too deep, you'll burn your arm. <laughs> Smell it. This was Larry's mother's pot, and I guess she's probably made no telling how much gumbo in this pot. Yeah, I would have it wouldn't occur to me the pot size it really yeah. mattered all that much. No. And I'll tell you, if you get your chicken boiled ahead of time, that will help too, because it uh, and it it's not hard to make. It's just getting everything ready. Right. You know. yeah. Well, 
almost like when I make chicken and duck over this one, I totally cheat. Yeah. I go to the store and buy rotisserie chicken. Oh, you yeah. do? Uh -huh. Well, someone uh, said that they use it in gumbo. Mm. And I also use it for the dough while you twist it. Yeah. But I make pretty good chicken and duck with a donut every day. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. make the, the dumplings? No, I, I cheat. I you do? I don't use biscuits. My mom uses tortillas. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard people doing that. A little bit. I took another little bit. It'll burn easy. Is it cold? Yeah, you kept it fire kind of hot. I turned it down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Now this, um, Chris, when you make it, you might put just a little more oil in it. It might be all right, but this is a, turning out okay. okay. I mean, this is just brown and flour. Yeah, um, that's all it is. is Larry, you get those? You okay. What? Yeah, the onions that are chopped. Well, and where they, are they? And they, uh, they're in one of those little containers. It's just white onions. But this is the hardest part. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. Okay, does that look about as brown as y'all would like? Looks good. You're the expert. Oh, I, I'm. What do you mean? Like you to do. Okay. Well, I do. What's going on? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, this will stop it. See, when I was growing up, my daddy did not like to try new things. Anything new? Yeah. So we, <laughs> it was. Well, we. No, regular. Country too, you know. Yeah. We still use that big coffee pot to drip our coffee. Okay, we're browning the onions, David. And Chris. And it doesn't take long to do that. Does this need to be warmed over here? Ah, oh, that's no. nice. Oh, that's right. Yeah. One thing that several years ago I got a rice cooker. I love that rice yeah, cooker. Yeah, my mother bought one. And use it quite a bit. Yeah, she finally did. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to watch it. You can just turn it on and walk away. Do you? Uh -huh. I have a small one down there, but I've never used it. What about your stock? Where do you have it? What stock? What it's in the refrigerator. You can get it out. Yeah. There's two containers and a little jar. Yeah. At first, see the... the, the uh, bowl down there with the chicken in it. It's in one of those casserole bowls. Or, yeah, just simple. Yeah, just put it right, right there. What about your flour? You don't need it, no, right? you can put it well, up. Well, mm -hmm. put it back there. Yeah, this is going to be good. And garlic. Probably about a tablespoon of garlic, David, and Chris. Okay, your sausage, you want that out now? Um, okay, not just yet. Okay. We've got the, the browned flour, onion, and out garlic. And the garlic. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the chicken, I guess, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to put in one of these. This is the stock that I made yesterday when I boiled the chicken. We might have to call the dogs to eat this. <laughs> There's a shorter version of making this, but I prefer this way because you can get it done and you can also take out any grease, you know, that collects 
And do you have one of those things that separates the juice from the, like when you make a, a roast or something? No, I don't. Look there, Larry, and find it. It's down there on that bottom shelf. Now I'm going to put the chicken. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, mm -mm. That is worth every bit of it. Oh, yeah. We got 16 Have you got a big now. store over in Okay, this is area? the chicken, David. We got Walmart. That's about it. Does, does Walmart have this? It's a mm. kitchen place or in the mall. Get, do you get it from like... Uh, well, it's a kitchen place in the yeah. mall. Bed, bath, and beyond. Yeah. Something yeah, like that. Right. Okay. That's, that's where we're looking. Okay. Adding the chicken. And the broth. And you like to use thighs, right? Thighs. Oh, you can use the, um, also, uh, Larry's mother always used the legs. Mm -hmm. Drumsticks. Yeah. Drumsticks, yeah. Now yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay, now I'm going to turn the fire up a little. You need it up you got it. I got it. Let's go. It's always good to have three or four people around. Yeah, uh, when you get ready to make this, Chris will chop all your your goods. Mm. Now he can do the chopping part because he's very meticulous. Really? The I would be like, oh yeah, look, look, chop the chop. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead. Yeah. You don't use a caliper, do you? <laughs> no. Sometimes if. If I ever ask him to chop some stuff up, I feel like he takes too long. I'm like, man, I can have that chopped up enough time. Yeah, my sister does Oh, that. Yes. Because he's very meticulous, see. Uh -huh. And she chops it so fine until... Okay, that's all I'm going to put in there because remember you've got your oyster water. You want to back in the refrigerator? Yeah. Are you keeping the dishes done uh, for me? Well, I will. Yeah. You want that? Might make some new. Put it up? Yeah, and this one too. Both of them? Yeah. It really looks awful until you kind of get it. It doesn't look awful when I'm going here. Okay, let's see. Larry, you can put this one back to it. I don't okay. think I need it. Now, if you tasted this right now, it would taste terrible. <laughs> put the bay leaf in, about uh, three bay leaves and be sure and take them out because it'll make your whatever you're cooking them with make them bitter okay if, if you leave it in when you're poultry seasoning was in there <coughs> poultry seasoning not yet i haven't put it i will though okay we're using poultry seasoning or um and i'm going to use a little bit of filet larry doesn't like a lot of filet because it does make it gooey we're going to use about a half until we find out how it tastes, Chris. I've never used poultry seasoning. You don't use it when you make your dumplings? Mm -mm. You don't? When you're chicken and dumplings? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Does it, have, does it have sage in it? It's sage. You use regular sage. Yeah. Now this has salt in it, so be careful. You might have to go back and add some more after a while. See that garlic is really floating around. 